lots of guns. Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming. I'm sure by now you've heard of VR's obsession with the fantastic rhythm shooter game that is Pistol Whip. If you haven't, get your shit together and go watch my review, which I will link in the notes below. With the recent release of Pistol Whip finally gracing the PSVR and hence my need to review it, I had a hard time actually understanding how the game was scoring my performance. The tutorial basically told us how to shoot, reload, punch, and duck, and then that was it. As such, I took a deep dive into the net to find out how to maximize my playstyle and dial it in to lead the leaderboards. Now, I still suck, so that's probably the bigger issue, but here for all of you is how the scoring system works in Pistol Whip, helping you to be the best VR gamer you can be. As always guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, it not only helps out my channel, but VR gaming as a whole. And if you want to see more VR content from me, please consider subscribing, and for video updates, you know the deal, hit that bell icon. So first off, let's talk enemy types. Before we even get into the game's core mechanics, let's run down how many of these minions you will be greeting on each of the game's core 10 scenes, across all three difficulty levels. Unfortunately, I couldn't find these stats for the new 5 maps, but hopefully this will give you an idea of how the mapping's working. Download the future. Now looking at how many minions you will face can help, but what is maybe the more important question is what are you shooting at? Pistol Whip has three enemy types, the basic red shirt grunt that goes down in one shot, the slightly more prepared flak vest minion which takes two shots to drop, and finally the overachieving full armored minion that is identified easily by his helmet. These guys, they take four shots to drop. Now important to note is that in Pistol Whip, a hit is a hit no matter where it lands on the body. Therefore, if headshots are what you're going for, just know that that's a you thing and won't gain you any extra credit on the score side of things. However, that doesn't mean accuracy isn't important. With 100 shots being the maximum allotted points per hit on an enemy, the game doesn't simply give away top prize based on a successful hit. And to clarify, I don't mean kill, I mean hit. When scoring based on accuracy, one must take into account the extremely heavy aim assist that ensures you actually shoot like John Wick. As such, when scoring a successful hit, the game does take into account how much auto-aim was required to help you land that hit, and awards points accordingly, meaning if you want the full 100 points, you actually need to be somewhat accurate. However, to get the total allowable 200 points per hit, we also must consider the rhythm game side of Pistol Whip, and take into account your actual timing as it relates to shooting in sync with the scene's beat with each shot being worth an additional maximum 100 points for being in time. However, shooting in proper timing in Pistol Whip isn't always as easy as it sounds, for unlike just about every other music rhythm game you have ever played, Pistol Whip doesn't give you any guidelines or markers of when to make the appropriate hit to stay in time. As such, you must be the human metronome and learn when and where to shoot unassisted. For you Pistol Whip nerds, timing is 150 milliseconds for each eighth note, and 75 milliseconds on either side of the beat. The game lets you follow the beat with a shot within an eighth note, regardless of whether it was technically within the beat's window allowing for syncopation and 16th notes, allowing you to still get creative with making rhythms with your shots. And finally, let's talk the game's namesake and quickly cover the pistol whip mechanic. Successfully punching an enemy isn't easy, but does have the benefit of not only refilling your ammo and health, but also guaranteeing you get full points for the kill. Of course, this is reliant on you not having placed a few craptastic shots already on said victim. However, what the game doesn't tell you is that they are tracking velocity and awarding points according on how hard you actually swing. Now please people keep things in reason here and don't knock out your significant other or obliterate your TV, but if you want to ensure maximum points, don't limp wrist it either. 
either. So in conclusion, let's do some quick math. It takes one shot to kill a red shirt grunt for a maximum of 200 points with 100 going for accuracy and 100 for rhythm. Two shots to kill a well-prepared flak vest minion, maximum of 400 points with 200 for accuracy and 200 for rhythm. And finally, four shots to kill the overachieving helmet minion with a maximum 800 points dividing into 400 accuracy and 400 rhythm. In closing, don't forget the score boosting modifiers, and that's it, guys. Hopefully, this helps clarify the scoring system in Pistol Whip so you can get your gun game in scoreboard shape. As always, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more VR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, you know the deal, hit that bell icon. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video.